And if I come to conclude that uh, I'm, I'm the right person to carry that mantle forward, I will go and try and make that case to the American people starting in the great state of Iowa. I've never lost a race. I'm not going to start now. If there's a place for me, I will put a thousand percent and we'll finish it. You know, we've really uh, gotten more notoriety, not because I'm out trying to do that, just because I'm getting things done for people in my state. One of us, it's pretty important that we win back the Congress. Uh, so I'll take that first that election first, and then we'll see what happens after the midterms. And welcome back. Former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, and Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton, all dropping hints of a potential presidential run. The comments signaling a possible break from former President Trump as he teases a comeback in 2024. Let's bring in Charlie Hurt, Washington Times opinion editor and a Fox News contributor. Charlie, great to see you. So both Great Mike you, Pompeo, Anita. good to see you, both Mike Pompeo and Nikki Haley, they were headliners at a Faith and Freedom Coalition event in Nashville. They both say they won't make up their mind about running until after the midterms, maybe after the first of the year, but it sure doesn't sound like they're going to wait to see what former President Trump will do, uh, specifically Mike Pompeo saying the field doesn't have to wait for the former president to make a decision. What do you think? Yeah. And I, and I think he's right about that. Uh, I think they're probably very smart to uh, start laying the groundwork for whatever happens, whether, uh, whether President Trump gets uh, back into the race or not. It's always smart to uh, sort of establish those relationships and make your arguments, uh, fine-tune your arguments now, which I, I think is exactly what they're doing. I don't know that all of these people that are sort of uh, signaling their interest in running would, will necessarily get into the race if President Trump does get into the race. Uh, but even but even if they, you know, even if he does and they don't, uh, they'll be uh, very important assets to the president in, in running for re-election. Uh, but that montage you just showed, I thought was, it, it's, it's a, a neat montage because I think what it shows is it shows a very vibrant party with a lot of uh, promising leaders uh, who are uh, feeling very hopeful about the future uh, for the country, but but for their for their role and uh, and the the uh, importance of their ideas in it, and when you contrast that with President Biden and the Democrats, it's a pretty stark difference right there. Yeah, there are a lot of possible contenders on the GOP side, at least. 14 or 15 at this point. Let's go ahead and put their pictures <laughs> up on the screen. Uh, there are quite a few, and you're going to see some familiar faces here. Mike Pompeo, we just heard from him, Nikki Haley, uh, and, and many others, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, uh, Mike Pence. So when you look at this, this field right here, um, who do you see pulling the trigger? And remember, some of these, well, some of these folks know, were Trump's biggest supporters. They were in his administration as well. Oh, absolutely. And that's why I think that uh, I, I do think that while it's smart for all of these candidates to be out there campaigning and, and uh, talking to voters right now, I, 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 we won't have any idea what the election looks like until we know what, what Donald Trump does. Um, and, and let's also remember, in this environment, a year is an eternity in politics these days with the, uh, you know, things move at such a fast clip uh, over the last five or so years. And a lot of that has to do with the, the degree to which Donald Trump overturned all of sort of the political uh, establishment in both parties, quite frankly. Um, and so it's, it, it'll be sort of interesting to see. But, but you know, I think that uh, you have a guy like Ron DeSantis who has uh, is so, you know, his biggest drawback for him is the fact that uh, he is getting a lot done. His voters in Florida absolutely love what he's doing. And uh, I think that there are probably a lot of Florida Republicans who would be disappointed if he were to uh, stop what he's doing there to go run a national campaign. Um, that's a pretty good problem to have. Yeah. Yes, it definitely is. And he's fairly young as well. So he has a lot of time. If he doesn't get yes. in this cycle, uh, he definitely has a future ahead of him. But uh, Charlie Hurt, it is going to be so interesting. It is uh, quite a long ways away, but people yes, are will. already talking about it now. Charlie, thank you so much, and we'll yes, see you again. Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.